right, while I'm driving to back to Thunderbolt, well, let's, uh, let's recap. I do have a vlog coming that's being put together right now with shots and, and everything else, but I kind of wanted to just touch base with everybody and let you know what happened at the block last night. Um, honestly, I drove that ball, that reality, and it did look pretty good, but unfortunately, the lanes hooked way more. Like, I don't know, maybe they were just a little flatter, like, uh, you know, they weren't as tapered, so you didn't see as much hold in the middle and as much hook to the right. I don't know. I saw hook everywhere. All of a sudden, yesterday, they were hooking quite a bit more, uh, and it kind of threw us off for a loop. It made carry that much harder because now our ball was hooking even earlier, and getting your ball to go through the pins was very, very tough. Like, Zach Tackett, who's crossing with me, I think he's like 140 over. Uh, the dude should be like at least 300 over. I mean, he hasn't, he missed the pocket probably three times in two days, you know, so, and I personally feel like you know, I've probably missed the pocket six or seven times in these two days. I feel like I should be a minimum 200 over and I'm only 80 over. So I don't know. I feel like I need about 120 over today or so. I think 200 over is probably safe. I haven't looked at the numbers from the A squad this morning, but they slowed down quite a bit yesterday. Um, it, it was right at 100 over after day one and finished at 140 over after day two. So they certainly they certainly slowed down. Um, you know, I, I threw a couple different balls yesterday trying to find some looks. I think I'm going to be okay on the burn. Uh, once I was able to move further left, my ball was less squirrely. I bowled 2 teen on the end. I bowled 150 game four, which be, it's because I bowled 220 the game before. I pulled out the Eternity, and I just happened to catch a pair where the Eternity looked pretty good straighter. I tried to do that on the next pair, and it was nowhere to be found. The next pair hooked so much more, and I got forced like 10 to 12 left of where I was the game before. And uh, once I got far enough left, the eternity just wouldn't make the corner so I ended up switching the balls three different times trying to find a ball to go through the pins or at least get there at the end I finally did I got the widow 2.0 that I struck in the ninth and then wrapped a 10 pin in the 10th and then struck in the fill or no I 10 pinned again on the fill for 150 otherwise it could have been 170 so I could be about 110 over either way I mean it's just a frustrating day uh, I felt like I bowled way better than the 15 under or whatever I was for the block. Um, but you notice that from a lot of guys. A lot of the guys that bowled really good yesterday, not so good today. You know, Cody bowled 10 over. Um, Ronnie bowled 6 under. You know, a lot of guys that bowled 200 over or 150 over ended up bowling, you know, minus today or right at even. So, or yesterday, I mean. So it was just, it was frustrating. It was, I don't know. I was to the point where it's like, man, I just want to quit. Honestly, I was at, I was in a mentally, I was mentally fried. I just wanted to quit. I just wanted to withdraw from the World Series and the Players Championship and just kind of hang them up for the re, for the year uh, until the regional season. But it's like, I don't know. We'll see how today goes because I mean, I'm not a quitter, but I obviously need to change something. I'm seeing something wrong. Uh, I need to get with some people and start having some different conversations about what I'm seeing, you know, cause I can sit there and I can coach and I can get people to do what I'm seeing from them and they can sit there and strike forever. But as soon as it comes to watching my own game, watching my own ball reaction, for some reason, what I see isn't the right thing, you know? So I can sit there and get somebody else lined up and get them in the right ball and they're doing all the right things. But for myself, uh, not so much. So I got to I got to do some change. I got to make some changes. I got to I got to do some more studying. I got to get into a class. I got to go to Bowl U or talk to Brand Angelo and Rick Benoit or or something. I just need to I need to see it different. I need to change my eyesight. I need to change the way I'm seeing things for myself. Um, but yet somehow keep the way I'm seeing things for everybody else because it seems to work for everybody else. So. Yeah, it's just something I have to work on. Sorry, the road's kind of bumpy, but it's just the things I have to work on. Um, today, I'm just going to go and throw as many good shots as I can, and however the, however the pins fall, they fall. Try to get to 200 over, and hope that's enough. But, I mean, that's not asking a lot. That's a little over two. That's 225 a game. So, 
Uh, that's not a lot. That's not a huge score. That's just a very, very gettable score with the way they are and being on the burn where there'll be a little extra hold and a little hook to the right. Should be very doable. So, I don't know. We'll see what happens, but I'm out of here. I'll show you guys that log once it's done. We'll put that up for you. Um, say a prayer for me because need a good block here. We'll see you guys later.